You're watching Shooting USA, America's number one source for firearms news and information. Those of us who grew up in the 50s and 60s remember testing our marksmanship skills with 22 shorts at the counter of a mechanical shooting gallery. Could you shoot well enough to win a stuffed bear for your best girl? Well, not many of those galleries are left these days, but we found one that's restored and now up and running. It's the subject of this week's History's Guns. Whirling wheels and spinning sprockets. You're forgiven if the term high technology doesn't immediately come to mind. 20 for five. 20 for five, that's all we're offering. 20 for five, pay your money. But high tech is exactly what this clattering contraption is. You want 20 or? You bet. Okay. Think of it as a time machine from the middle of the 20th century. A shooting gallery built by H.W. Turpening, Ocean Park, California, that magically transports grown men and women back to the year they turned 10. We have a range of, of competitors here from 8 to 80. But when they come out here and they see this, they're all 10 again. Randy Wolf drove more than an hour for a chance to knock down a few ducks and rabbits on this colorful piece of American history. Good thing you came by and showed us how to shoot. I love it. That's why I came. I love, you know, gallery shooting. This shooting gallery is the prized possession of the Single Action Shooting Society. Reminds me of one as a kid. Does it really? Oh, yeah. They're the people who bring you fun and fantasy, turning back the clock in their shooting matches to a time in the 1800s, all while competing with the cowboy guns of America's Old West. I guess one of my dreams is was always owning a shooting gallery. Right at the middle. But unlike many of our dreams in life, Coyote Calhoun's came true. Empty. And I had a friend call me one day and he says, you're not going to believe what's on eBay. He said, there's a shooting gallery on eBay. And I said, you know, you got to be kidding. It was sitting in a garage in Colorado, just waiting for someone to bring it to life. It was, uh, it was like a dream come true, really. Um, I opened the garage door and it was like, oh my gosh, this thing is real. Coyote and Hipshot, his partner in SAS, bought the shooting gallery on the spot and brought it home to New Mexico. They took it apart and began the job of restoring it to its original glory. That painstaking task started with a box of spare targets. And in it was a brand new duck and a brand new rabbit, squirrel, a crow and pipe that had never been shot at as spare parts. And Hipshot took those spares to a foundry and had new targets for the gallery cast in iron preserving the rare and valuable originals from destruction on the firing line. So every, every target on there, there's 56 or 57 targets or something like that, is now a brand new target exactly like the originals made out of the same materials. The rest of the gallery is original though, every piece and part. And so is this, this historic century old pump action rifle. Pull it back, kabang, kabang, kabang. The Winchester Model 1906 22 short gallery gun. Texas Jack Morales helped complete the restoration by finding these original rifles. Well, it's great. Just great guns. They've got what you call a gumwood stock because they were inexpensive. Uh, most of them that you find are really used because if they wasn't in the in the gallery, they was every kid in the world had one. Squirrels. Which side? I'm going to start on the left. All right. And every kid still seems to enjoy the fun of shooting it at a duck or a squirrel. It's fun. 
<laughs> no matter if that kid is eight or 80. This thing is special to me because I'm old enough, I remember shooting the 22 galleries, not only at the carnivals and the amusement parks, but I remember shooting 22s at Disneyland. But this is something that, that my generation grew up with, and we want to preserve it for the next generations. There are only about a half dozen shooting galleries left in the country. You can see they are tremendous fun. And no one had more fun with that gallery than one of the men you met in our story, Coyote Calhoun. We're sorry to report that shortly after taping our story, Lamar Shelnut, alias Coyote Calhoun, passed away at Founders Ranch, the home of the Single Action Shooting Society. It is no exaggeration to say Coyote is missed by thousands of cowboy action shooters who knew him.